Theobromine is a plant-based chemical similar to that of caffeine and found in tea and a number of other plants. However, it's present in really substantial amounts in the cocoa plant, which we use to create chocolate. So what is theobromine? What are the biochemical reactions that take place? Is it harmful to us? Well, the chemical structure of theobromine is very similar to that of caffeine, with caffeine having an initial methyl group, or CH3, in place of a hydrogen atom. It's this extra methyl group in caffeine which eases the passage of the chemical across the blood-brain barrier, resulting in increased alertness. With one fewer methyl group, theobromine in foods like chocolate tends to relax the smooth muscles generally contained in our involuntary muscle system and improves our mood by stimulating pleasure centres. However, both caffeine and theobromine will tend to bind to adazine receptors in the central nervous system. These receptors regulate oxygen levels and the blood flow through the heart. If too much theobromine is consumed, this can result in theobromine poisoning, possibly resulting in internal bleeding and in heart attacks. However, since humans are omnivores, we have evolved to eat substantial amounts of plant material, some of which might contain theobromine. Our bodies rapidly metabolize or process the theobromine into other useful chemicals in our bodies. Now, dark chocolate contains far more of the products from the cocoa plant than does milk chocolate, including more of the theobromine. But it isn't actually a risk to humans, not really. An adult would have to eat over 5 kilograms or about 12 pounds of dark chocolate at a single sitting to reach a lethal dose. They might start to feel some negative effects after about half a pound of dark chocolate. These mean, amounts mean that even the strongest chocolate doesn't represent a significant threat to humans. However, this isn't the case for other animals that we may share our lives with, especially cats and dogs. Now, both cats and dogs evolved to be carnivores, and while they will, to a certain extent, eat plant-based food, their bodies are not adapted to specifically cope with these foods. It's especially the case with foods like chocolate, which contains the theobromine. Since it isn't part of their natural diet, these animals process theobromine extremely slowly. So even a day later, one third of the theobromine is still likely to be in their system. With their body size being much smaller than humans, a medium-sized dog could get a lethal dose from less than half a pound of chocolate and serious medical effects from less than an ounce of dark chocolate. In general, while cats will reach a lethal dose quicker than dogs, since they're generally smaller than dogs and are slightly more sensitive to theobromine poisoning. Cats, though, however, don't often succumb to this form of poisoning as they can't taste the sweetness in chocolate and are generally a little bit more fussy about their foods than dogs. It means a dog's tendency to bolt down any spare food is vulnerable to theobromine poisoning. Many dogs do find chocolate really appealing. They wouldn't hesitate to eat several bars of the stuff without realising the harm that they may be doing to their bodies. But if you do have pets, please be careful with chocolates, especially with dark chocolate. If you want to feed your animals treats, always use foods which are specifically prepared and suitable for them. There may be serious issues if you use the wrong food.